Yo, what's going on? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks, your favorite Autobot, all day long, all day strong, drinking that 25 ounce tower of power, Natty Ice. Just on a side note, the tiger hat is going to be retired. Yeah, what the hell happened to that? My cat decided it was going to fuck it up. But hey, yeah, it's been a while since I did a video. Gosh, talked about Battletoads briefly or whatever, and since then I cut my hair off again. Yeah, so whoop de do. But I'm back with another video game pickup. I didn't do one since before I went to the beach, so let's get this shit started. Before I went, I did a video where I said I've got one awesome 2DS, and there's mainly one reason, like one reason only, I was going to get a 2DS. Besides, of course, there's great games on it, but if there was one reason I was going to get it, it's for a specific game. I finally got Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of, what, Valencia, as I say it? Yeah, something like that. Rudolph, die! You took everything! Everything that I ever loved! You took Sophia! You took my friends! And now, so did you too! Uh, I've talked about it quite a few times on this channel where Fire Emblem is my favorite series, but Echoes is a remake of Gaiden, and I found Gaiden on a ROM, English translated, back in, way back in 1997 on CoolRoms.net or some, some shit. Like, no, 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 it's on ROM Nation. Yeah, ROMNation.net. And ever since that, I've kept it on the computers I've had and played it ever since, and the remake of it is totally awesome. I totally recommend it. Uh, if you're a fan of the Shining Force or, you know, played some of the other Fire Emblem stuff, I, I totally recommend playing it. And along with that, the one thing I was really hoping I was going to get for before I went down was something that was going to help me protect it. And I did an eBay pickup of a third-party, uh, it's not such a hard shell, but it's somewhat of a hard shell case. The zipper, you know, you open it up and, uh... Elastic straps keep the 2DS in place. You get a flap down. You can keep uh, eight games right there. And up here, you keep your charger and other, you know, other accessories and stuff like that. And you know, I paid 6.98 for it. The thing is, it saved my DS. I got to my brother-in-law's house when I went on vacation. Went to North Carolina at the Outer Banks. I got to his house. I took it out to try and, or I got it. Got this to go charge it outside. And of course, none of his extensions worked with the type of plug I had. And I dropped it with the DS in this. And I'm saying I'm six foot tall, so it probably dropped about four foot eight inches from where I was holding it at the time. No damage that I physically can see, you know, and I had no problems. So this saved my DS. I recommend one of them. It's cheap. You know, you can get it off eBay. Maybe if I remember, I'll throw a link below to the generic one that I got. Right after I got back, you know, my aunt was talking about, well, hey, I, you know, I heard you got a DS, so here, have this. And I'm like, well, I don't have a DS. I got a 2DS, but I'll take it. And I got new Super Mario Brothers for your DS. Complete.
After I explained to her that I had a 2DS, she said the DS is sitting somewhere in her house, so when she finds it, she's going to give it to me. It's the original hard, hard brick, like that weird indigo blue something, that's indigo purple I'm thinking about, or indigo blue for GameCube. But it, it's that blue old style, thicker DS, which I don't mind. I'd rather have something thicker like that that's going to withstand a blow. So I haven't heard back from her yet, so I'm really hoping to get it. My, uh, a couple of my best friends just recently moved. He was sifting through some stuff, and he found something of mine, which isn't a video game pickup, but it, we're going to get to some of this. Uh, it's a tape I bought that was Pro Shop from Kiss. Kiss used to be one of my favorite bands. It's from the Hotter Than Hell tour at one of their most famous shows from early before they got famous, uh, San Francisco Winterland Ballroom. And... I left it over at the house in like 2003, and just to get this back, that's cool. And I actually do have, what, two or three VHSs somewhere in my house, so that's pretty cool. I can't wait to check that out. But then he said, well, you know, I found this, but would you uh, excuse me, be interested in taking these off my hands? Why not? He had four, PlayStation 1. The case is pretty beat up. The disc has a few scuffs in it, and I've got no cover on it, you know, the instruction manual and stuff. Cool Borders 3. That's a throwback right there, the EB Games, before uh, it all got bought out by GameStop, so that's cool. But obviously he bought it used. I remember watching them play this, man, uh, back at my buddy's house in like the late 90s, early 2000s, so that's cool to have this game. And another one, uh, same condition where the case is beat to shit. This looks like it has a few scratches on it. It's got the rear on it, but not the front cover instruction manual. NFL Extreme. Welcome, Welcome to, to NFL, NFL Extreme. Extreme. Today's matchup is between the Green Bay Packers and the Denver Broncos. The game is underway. Here's the return. Hammer. Stay down, chump. First and two. Hot. <laughs> Welcome to the NFL. Red Second 46. down. 
Pun! That was late. Blue, First and 46. 17. Hot. Number four. Uh, uh, Welcome to the NFL. And to find out uh, after we, I told my buddy what I got, it's another one of our friends' game he left over there, but he don't care, of course, you know. Again, this has probably been over there since, gosh, when is the date on this thing? 98, holy cow, man, that's 20 years old. Oh, God, and then on... I use my Bing Rewards, of course. I talk about it all the time. And you get a $5 Amazon gift card. I saved up five gift cards. And there was one game I've been looking for. And on the NES library, there's probably 10 games that I always have on my list. That prize, I'm going to do a video on soon. My top 10 NES games that I want. I just recently grabbed not one, but the second one's coming in this video of two that I got knocked down off my list. So I have to redo it all over again. But one is one of the original, what, 57, 54 release games is Nintendo's Kid Icarus. remember seeing this always when you got certain NES games you got the big poster of all the games you got screenshots and it would just call it what it is ever since I seen a screenshot of this game in a poster in 1987 I fucking wanted this game and I got it and after my big rewards that I saved up for four gift cards of five dollars I paid six cents and I had some other money saved up and man I haven't got even time to really play it. I played through stage one and beat it, and it keeps reminding me, this game's pretty tough. I just don't have, you know, a lot of the experience other people do in it. I have beaten it before, but it was on the Wii's Virtual Console, which you had all in, you know, easy save states and stuff like that. So very excited to get this. I can't wait to spend more time with it. We are on Wednesday right now, and this past Saturday, my wife was running around a small town near us. And she noticed there was an online Facebook ad for a yard sale that had video games. And she drove by it and didn't see any, but here it was located in the back. Gosh, and when you hear that, you get all hyped about it. Which she, you know, she sent me a text message that had two pictures of what was going on. Here... There was a picture of an NES game I really wanted. It's uncommon. It's another game that was on my top 10 NES games that I want. To find this out in the wild is crazy. Shatterhand. Mm-hmm. 
it's people call it a hidden gem. I, I first time I played it is probably a little bit after it came out. It came out in like what 90, 91 or ninety two, and I was still been in like a daycare thing or whatever. And we had an NES thing games there, but we only had Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Ninja Turtles 1, uh, and like, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and one or two other ones, but you'd be able to bring your others in, and some guy had Kabuki Quantum Fighter, which I got like four years ago or something, which that's a great game too, and brought this in, and I was blown away by this game, and I was searching for it ever since and stuff like that, and she, it was originally asking $35 for it, and talked him down to, uh, yeah, 30 And used price, you know, back when, when the Just Press Play came around here, was four ninety nine, And that would have been like nine years ago and stuff like that. So I'm just excited to get this game finally. Uh, she had two other pickups from there. Uh, Data East, which is a double of mine, but she picked it up because of the title, which she knows me and how much she loves me. Uh, it's a common game, but I ha used to play this game a lot back in the day with my buddy Jason Brown, who I bring up on the channel a lot. Uh, I'm not going to show any video of it or anything, because again, it's been on my channel, but... Bad dudes. A little paint on it, but nothing I can easily clean up. It'd be a good display piece for my uh, video game stuff up there. And... There's another pickup she got right here and she only paid a dollar for it and to see again something like this out in the wild and the condition it's in it's amazing considering because everything is there it's awesome I've got Nintendo Power issue 25 featuring Battletoads it's in really decent condition for a dollar you know look at the spine we got a little bit damage down here even the inserts are on there and the it has all the maps for every Battletoads stage. And I no, I've never beat Battletoads without Game Genie. I can admit that. The game's hard as hell. God, it I didn't beat the Turbo Tunnel until Christmas twenty fourteen. And then when you scroll through it, I mean there's they always have a poster and everything. The poster's still in it. And there's a poster of one of the games I call one of my top five other NES hidden gems. Super Spy Hunter. And look how minty that is. Of course, you're going to have the crease for the folds and everything like that. God damn. I want to tear it out and put it up in, you know, in here in the game room, but I don't. So I don't know what to do with it. Oh, man. So, hey, what do you think about these pickups? Throw that comment below if you played any of these games. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Slap a like on this video. Until next time, like always, hey, drink one on me.